The National Bureau of Thailand reports that the temporary crisis centre, set up to manage flooding, has maintained a call for caution in many provinces nationwide. It's also indicated that 55 provinces are at risk from heavy rains. Other departments report that 10 provinces are still contending with the effect of tropical storms, with up to 33,000 households impacted by flooding. They're receiving continuous assistance from military and relevant agencies. With the prediction of a drought in 2019, all major dams are set to maintain as high a level of water this year as possible. But they're also allowing heavier runoff than normal to accommodate more rain that's expected this year. Reminding us of the generosity of His Majesty King Rama IX, his daughter and sister of the current King Rama X, Princess Maha Shakri Sirindhorn, has donated a mobile medical vehicle to provide medical services for locals in the far south. Supported by local hospitals, the mobile vehicle will afford medical services for free to the poor and elderly in remote areas where travel to hospitals is still a challenge. It's hoped that her example will motivate others to follow. Passengers to Japan weren't happy as some media reported yesterday that flights by Thai Airways had already resumed to Osaka. With Kansai Airport still closed for repairs after storm damage, flights won't resume to there until the end of the week at the earliest. Meanwhile, passengers can exchange tickets with Thai to other airports there without any extra fees to avoid delays. African swine fever can't be transmitted from animals to humans. That's been confirmed by Thailand's DLD this week. The disease that only so far affects pigs has already spread from China to some countries in Europe, but not Thailand. The department also warned of a possible outbreak in countries that import pork products or live pigs from affected regions. What's the best way to transport illegal drugs without getting stopped? Well, there probably isn't one, but mules are getting more inventive for certain. Monday saw reports of a duo who were nabbed with close to a thousand pounds of ice and ketamine hidden in two ambulances. The private ambulances were followed from Chiang Mai before being stopped, the medics arrested after a shootout, and the company that owns the ambulances has been struck off from the list used by the province. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattaya, the Sukhumvit is all back to normal now, boasting the new footbridge in place at the channel. The clever steel structure looks good and was finished off in the middle of the Sukhumvit before being hoisted onto its mounts ready for use. Still an ongoing project, we can expect it to be open soon, but from now on, work on it won't affect the traffic. If you've been looking at your wardrobe and wondering why you don't look as cool as you used to, why not design your own clothes as opposing to buying off the shelf? Well, Armour Fashion, AMA Fashion on Patia Central Road close to the beach is offering just that. Take a suit, for example, you can choose the design and material, then add to it. Pick the pockets, lapels and more and end up with a unique design that perhaps will tidy up your image. So before you buy something that nearly fits, why not go for tailor-made? Mention Fabulous 103 Radio and you're assured of the best price without haggling too. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 31, dropping down to 27, and the guarantee of rain at some time, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Patia, the city of fun.